So we have question 20 from the past paper link down below and it should be part of a playlist on my channel. If you do have any questions throughout the video, just drop them down below. I'll do my best to get back to you. So question number 20 says a company makes and sells boxes of washing powder and we have a picture of the washing powder box and it's 1.68 kg for £5.60. So the company wants to increase the amount of money it receives per kilogram of powder. To get the required increase, it can increase the price to £5.88 or reduce the mass of powder in the box by X percent. Work out the value of X two decimal places and this is a four mark question. So the company effectively wants to change the amount of money that it receives per kilogram of washing powder sold. So the current price per kilo that they receive is £5.60 divided by 1.68 kilos because it's the price divided by the weight and that's going to be £3.33 per kilogram and the new price per kilo of the product is going to be the price of the washing powder box which is £5.88 now divided by 1.68 kilograms which is the original weight and that's going to give us a price of £3.33. 50 per kilo so that's basically the new price the company wants per kilo of washing powder sold now they also want to know how can we get that same increase in price per kilo for the company but not adjust the price in the supermarkets but do this by changing the weight of the washing powder so if they make the individual washing powder boxes smaller but keep them at the same price they're going to be getting a higher price per kilo so they can increase their prices or revenue or profit without actually changing the price but by reducing the weight and the question wants to know what is the equivalent weight change to the £5.88 increase or in other words as we know the new price per kilo is £3.50 what weight change do we have to do to get that new price per kilo for the company well I've come up with a little formula here and it's the mass percentage change now this formula is quite simple it's just the old price divided by the new weight and that's going to be equal to £3.50 per kilo because that's their target so we have £5.60 as a price we're keeping that the same and that's divided by 1.68 kg times x now 1.6 kg times x is is the new weight so x is just an unknown in this case i wouldn't think about it too much it's not the x which is the answer to the question but think of it as we're taking the 1.68 kg and we're times it by an unknown to make it smaller now we want to know what this unknown is so we can work out the percentage change and this overall is going to be equal to the new price of £3.50 per kilo again if any of this isn't clear just let me know and i will reply to you in the comments so now we have our formula we can swap the £3.50 per kilo with the 1.68 kg times x because you could just do that with any formula. That gives us £5.60 divided by £3.50 per kg. That's going to be equal in 1.68 kg times x. Now we can rearrange this by dividing both sides by 1.68 kg. So that's going to give us x as £5.60 over £3.5 per kg times 1.68 kg. Now I wouldn't worry too much about the pounds and kg signs. They should all cancel out. But what we want to look for is that value of x. So x is going to be equal to 0.95238095. 5238. So we know that if we times 1.68 kg by this value, it's going to reduce it to the perfect amount. So it's going to be £3.50 per kilo. But in the question, they want to know the percentage change. So let's turn x into a percentage by times it by 100. So we know the new box is going to be 95.23 AO, etc. percent, the size of the original box. And if we want to work out the percentage change, well, we have 100% minus the 95.23, etc. percent. So that's going to give us 4.7 six one nine etc percent and if they want that to two decimal places it's going to be 4.76 percent because the weight was originally a hundred percent then we're minus in the new weight so the percentage difference is going to be 4.76 percent now i do feel like that was kind of a hard question to explain or go through let me know what you think if you do need some extra help or comment just feel free to drop it down below best luck with maths hopefully it was clear and thanks for watching the video